Hiya. Hey. Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you kicked Benitez's ass, Danny. I wish I could have been there. Think I want out of this shit. I heard it was someone from Libertad that rescued our people. Keep it up. Really? Someone from Libertad? What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez Jimenez. Peña! I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Morale. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand Welcome open. To the cost. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. See! The part where you put the gun to your head. The beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Another day, another day. Gracias. Que vola? Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Bingo. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. <laughs> Vamos. That's it. They're okay. We always need more wood. What's up? 
When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass. Fucking up the convoy. Taking whatever they're carrying. I'm fighting with Honron. Carajo. You're ready. I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. Let's go. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Vamos, vamos! So, so! You look like La Moral. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? See. Si. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! Who should be studying? They have been brainwashed into fighting a fight that is not theirs. They have been pushed into the spot. By Clara Garcia and her Libertad Acolytes. Following in the footsteps of an attention-seeking generation who fight for likes. They are misguided children who are being led by adults who should know better. My father knows better. He teaches me every day how to be a lion. You can all be lions like me and my papa. La Moral are nothing but sheep who will only lead you to slaughter. <laughs> A good horse. Go.
Pop it open. <gasps> Jackpot. This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. See, si. on the runs heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now, so watch the roads. Okay. Carlito, right about now. Hey, Danny. We need to hurry. Listen up. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. What? I need you to go. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. If you're going to the museum, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Huh. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that.
already in there with them. Pinga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. Elena, the dentist is dead. La morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? 
It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war, at least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy for And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. I know the question on your mind. The museum is free. Sweet. El presi... Is that Diego? Poor kid never... Not a chance. Come here. We were so young. Hey there. This photograph really captures Carlito's good side. What took you so long? A lo mejor tenemos que pensarla en su habitación por la... Watching you, Gusano. 
Carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. <laughs> Help Tigre and Carlito together again. Baby Tigre, jump in the driver's seat. I've got a gun. Baby Tigre, let's go. Fix up Carlito and blast Bingo. open the gates. Here I come. Carlito was a tank. Yeah! Whoa! What are you talking about? It's Carlito! Everyone knows Carlito! Baby Tigre! There's a cave we use during La Revolution! Take a left at the road! Get to the nearby bridge! Nothing will stand in our way!
Lorenzo, you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. is over when we are all free. A true Yara. The creed of our paradise. <sighs> Martial law has been declared. All civil liberties have been suspended for the duration of the crisis. This is the place. Heard you got a spot on the night shift. Yami, found your number on a poster about racing. Oh, if you like racing, you call the right number. We do it guerrilla style. Each track is marked with checkpoint flares you gotta drive through. Try to beat the best time. You in? Fuck it. I'll try it. That's the racing spirit right there. I like you already. Suerte! You a guerrilla? There's too much heat. You got a line on We place explosives here, here, and here. Speed starts, charges detonate, we create a ring of fire around that hotel hotter than the devil's asshole. Which means? Castillo's forces can get out and reinforcements can get in, with Danny right in the middle. And then what? Danny kills El Presidente. It's beautiful. Hey, Danny. Danny! Look at that sexy Supremo! You want me to kill Anton Castillo? Today, Anton is giving his annual Independence Day speech at the Hotel Paraiso, live. Juan has intel on the exact location of his security detail. One in a million opportunity. We're gonna cut the head off the snake and make boots from his skin. Mierda. And you good with this? Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? Thinking about it. What about you? Never killed the president before? <laughs> It's an assassination, Danny! It's guerrilla meth! Christ, I need a shower. And you need this. You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend! I call you! <laughs> He's too excited. He's right. Kill Castillo and Libertad will rise in the chaos. And after that, who knows? Who knows? Go put that come mierda down. Viva Libertad. Lara, what do you really think will happen after I kill Castillo? The generals will turn on each other. It will be civil war. Libertad will be there to pick up the pieces. 
It's a big risk. But I'll take it. How do I trigger them? You don't. Clara and I have guerrillas out planting bombs all over Esperanza. It will be a Semtex symphony. You're on the tuba, and I am the conductor. Vamos, Dani. The pinga. I can't keep up with your metaphors. <sighs> Oye. Yeah. 
Look at you. Good as new. Engineer spotted. Some fireworks for our anniversary. until it's too late. Juan, the packages have been dropped off. You sound like a fucking postman. Just say, hey Juan, I planted the bombs. I sent you a photo of where you can find me. On my way. I'm on the rooftops in front of the hotel. If you forget what I'm like, just look for the father figure you always wish you had. I think you mean drunk uncle, Juan. Hey, I'm six hours sober. Si ustedes sean testigos de o sospechen actividades ilegales durante el toque de queda, llamen a los PDP. Los policías investigarán su informe. Ustedes son los ojos y oídos de Yara.
being at Mind your thoughts. They form your reality. Negativity and skepticism will not benefit you or yet. Faith, loyalty, and diligence will help us rebuild paradise with speed and ease. Getting close to one. Danny, got the pre-op sweats? I sure as hell do. Bombs are in place, Juan. Yours were the last. Can you feel it? That moment of serenity before a lot of assholes are going to die. Time for my three favorite words. Trigger the explosives. PTSD for everyone. Go, Danny. Secure the hotel and kill Anton. Don't come back without gas. Bronze. <laughs> for the event.
watching me papa murdered by the terror of the revolution 1967. Hey Danny, have to give that coma mierda some respect. What are you talking about? She's exploring, his bodyguards are getting murdered, and he's still giving that stupid speech. The man has some qualities. Why don't you bring them to me? I am haunted by the lessons me papa taught me as a child. The dreams he had for me, my family, my country. Before he was hurt, he used to tell me of a dream he had. A Yara that was the envy of the world. Future generations. Now that I have the same dreams for my own son, Diego. I finally understood what he meant. He wanted me to rebuild paradise. And now you, my true Yaras, are living. Left to rebuild paradise is a great success. We are producing a cancer treatment desperate for. Demand for Viviro. Construct a capital city that embraces our past but looks to the future. We have found a path to paradise. And yet, once again, another so called. Time to pass that elevator. Another group of terroristas. Another pack of oh, fake yeah. Yarens. Libertad. Nobody here. Clara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny, and you? You know who I am. You're here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be? You're not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yaren gets hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You looking for one, Chamaco? You should leave Yara. He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. This way. Fucking dictators. Gracias. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. Coño, she's beautiful. Don't mind if I do, Castillo.
Antonio, air support! I made it out in one piece. Danny, are you okay? What happened? It was a setup. Nobody in there but Anton's bodyguards. We didn't get Castillo, but we did some damage to his regime. Damage? You put Anton's regime in the balls today. Hey, you ever hear anything about Castillo being sick? No, why? Uh, I overheard some guards. Hmm. It's good intel. I'll be in touch. Every step we take gets us closer to a free era. Now go buy yourself a cerveza. You earned it. <laughs> <laughs>